Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks, aka Red Beard. Um, today, I'm going to go ahead and bust out a review over Ave Maria Divinia. This is one of the box press cigars that I got in that sample pack. I just lit it up. Yep. I got my coals getting hot behind me and we'll cook up some drumsticks. Some chicken drumsticks. Bonnie, quit eating poop! So I figured on my weekly bottle, I'm going to pair it with my Knob Creek single barrel. And I have found over the course of this bottle that I like this Knob Creek a lot better with a little bit of ice in it just slightly chilled but I'll get my final review on it here in the next few days or so I'm gonna go ahead and read off about this cigar it is a medium to full body profile it says and I'm reading from cigar.com Simply Divine. The Ave Maria brand began with one goal in mind, to deliver exceptionally constructed cigars that possess the very essence of classic Cubans, both in flavor and strength. With the difficult task at hand of creating yet another super premium in the ranks of Reconquista, the top selling core line does just that with Ave Maria Divinia. So, on the front, it's got a little spicy little pepper note to it. Maybe a hint of leather and chocolate right on the front end. Bonnie's chasing birds now. <laughs> I'll, um, before I get too deep into it, might I add, I've added about three quarters of an inch onto my forearms in the last two months. So, my training is working, or at least it's getting bigger. Uh, in typical Ave Maria fashion, Divinia starts off with an elegant getaway bug, elegant presentation. Quite the display, each cigar is housed in individual coffins and extravagant wood boxes of 12. As for the blend, well-aged Cuban seed, Nicaraguan, Nicaraguan long fillers are topped with an oily Nicaraguan sun-grown wrapper and box press to perfection. Hey. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Get, a, get out of here, bug. Uh, a very... Uh, blah, 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 lost my place. Resulting in a perfect draw and slow even burn. A very Cuban-esque and highly complex blend. Ave Maria Divinia begins with a refined character then takes your senses on an incredible ride between the contrasting highly aromatic flavor profile and mellow balance. Not typically seen in a medium to full bodied platform. The strength slowly builds as you enjoy the cigar and rich savory notes of earth, coffee, cocoa, and nuts intermingle throughout the entire experience. A Maria Divinia will not disappoint. So far it hasn't. Uh, I want to say these are about and seven to ten dollars a stick depending on the size so what I'm gonna do do something different I'm not gonna keep smoking this one well I am gonna keep smoking it but my coals are getting warm I got hot a lot quicker than I expected These two kind of pair off each other real, really well, uh, even with the ice in this one. It's a really nice balance. I like it. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and pause, and I'll come back, and we'll talk about the middle of this cigar. So, stay tuned. 
So we're back, right? I'm at about the midpoint of the cigar. And so far I'm getting like um, leather. Some coffee notes. Toffee. Very, very... The, the cocoa that it, we talked about is very present on the palate. So very, very nice smoke. I'll show y'all what I'm working with over here. Vicious attack dog. So, got a little. I got some uh, some chicken drumsticks and some boudin. Letting that cook on the side. Oh, he's revving his motor up. He's revving his motor up. I had to uh, bring a little fan outside so I could stay a little cool while I smoke cigars and talk to you people. These bugs are going crazy. I don't know, man. They're just acting wild. But yeah, so far I'm enjoying this little cigar. Very tasty. Um, be careful with the wrapper, the the, uh, the bands on them. They're really tight. And uh, if you don't wait until the ash gets really close to it, it might end up tearing your uh, cigar when you try to pull them off. So be careful with that. Might have one more drink out of this one, and then I'll uh, set it to the side for my last sip. Jeez. Right now I'm letting that chicken cook on the indirect heat, and the boudin cook on the indirect heat for, so far it's been about six minutes. I'll probably give it till the end of this cigar, which I'm thinking if I cover it up and shut off all the air flow to it, the coals will die down a little bit. And Jesus! But I think I'll go ahead and cut it off here and then I'll come back at the end of the cigar. Oh yeah. Uh, anybody who listens to podcasts obviously listen to the Bearded Idiots but if you're into cigars and I will be uh, uh, I'll be doing a guest appearance on this podcast next week well I'll be recording it next week I'm not sure when it will come out but it's called The Herf Cast H-E-R-F-C-A-S-T Herf Cast Podcast and they, do, they talk all about cigars whereas we talk all about whiskey and Alcohol in general, pretty much whiskey, but we're starting to venture off into other things. But uh, Brian, who runs the Herfcast, called me up today and asked me if I wanted to sit in on an episode. And I was like, "Hell yeah, dude, let's do it." Uh, I'm gonna try to get I'm gonna try to get him on a video. Maybe we might have to do like a little FaceTime video and record it that way. But talk to him and might try to get him in touch with the. Uh, the Smoking Aces guys over at the Mobile Cigar Lounge. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pause it again. And uh, we'll be back in a few minutes to, to get our final notes on this cigar. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I'm back. Um, I'm down to about yay much. Um... Me personally, I don't like to get down to where I'm just barely, like it's almost a roach. You're smoking an old joint. Um, I, I usually smoke it to within about 
an inch to an inch and a quarter of the end of the cigar, and then I'll, I'll put it down. I don't like a lot of hot smoke uh, filling up my lung cavity or my throat. Besides the fact that my face is highly flammable, I don't like that heat near the old lion's mane, if you know what I mean. So I've taken about as much off this bottle of knob that I want to take, and I'm going to save the rest for my my final review of it and give you my, my final thoughts. Uh, I've had about, I think this is my third glass out of it and I usually fill it up. Yeah, about right, about a little, maybe about right there. So a little bit higher than what it actually is. Uh, but so far I've enjoyed this specific, this specific pairing. Um, I think they pl play well together. Uh, I, I truly believe that any high proof bourbon, anything that has a lot of uh, flavor and a medium to full body cigar pair well together. But at the end of the day, like I've said before, smoke what you want to smoke and drink what you want to drink. If you have a, a, a mild flavored cigar and you want to pair it with a, uh, a full proof, a high proof bourbon uh, or a peated scotch, these bugs are ridiculous today. Um, we'll smoke that. I mean, nobody, I can't say what you're going to enjoy. And, like that, and that's another reason why I'm not too keen on doing the uh, the ratings. And like I haven't I haven't updated my Google sheet in a while, and I, I'm sorry about that, guys. But uh, I might just get away from the ratings and just say like, would I buy it again? Yes. Would I do I, do I not? No. Because um, for me to rate a whiskey is unfair. Because, as we saw in the, uh, as we saw in the uh, the Wild Turkey, Knob Creek, uh, hey, shut up, uh, Henry McKenna blind, like your 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 palate's going to change over the course of the day depending on what you eat. So it's really dependent on what you eat that day. If you smoke anything, if you're smoking a cigar at the moment. It's, it's really up to just personal preference, and I can't say that enough. Also, I'm working on some shirt designs for the Whiskey Channel. We already have merch, as you can see. We got hats for the bearded idiots. We got shirts. You go to teespring.com. If you go to the link in the description below, you go to beardedidiots.com. You can find all those links to our merch and our swag. Uh, But I'm working on shirts right now. I got a couple designs floating around. Uh, Mark Zara, who created the wooden plaques that are normally behind me in my whiskey reviews, he's going to help me with some designs. So we're going to we're going to put together a couple designs, and I got some ideas as far as anybody who's watching this actually cares right now at this point, this far into the video. Um, I'm thinking, and I've said this before in previous videos, that I want to do like a fuck whiskey of the month club or t-shirt. So I'm going to do like five t-shirts each month, and with those five t-shirts, and they might be priced a little higher. And I'm I'm probably it's probably since it's going to be one-off shirts, it's probably going to be like forty fifty dollars. Uh, but with that shirt, you're going to get a little two ounce uh, bottle of probably the highest rated whiskey 
that mark if I still do the ratings. If not, it'll be two ounces of a, a really nice whiskey that I'll, I'll share with my top followers, my top subscribers, the people who really take part, really care, really want to see this channel grow into something else. So. These freaking flies are just like kamikaze fighters. It's D-Day. Oh god, I think it's D-Day. And they're just like, we're taking revenge for our Japanese brothers. It's terrible. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. Um, right here on the end of this cigar. All those spicy notes have come back. I still get the cocoa, the chocolate, the leather, but I'm also getting the spicy notes in there as well. So um, I really like the cigar. I might plan to try to get a few more just to have around for myself. But check it out. Let me know what you think. If you've smoked one before, comment below. Um, Be careful on these Dove Creek bottles. I poured a glass earlier and that wax broke off whenever I was pouring my glass and wax got all in my drink. So, uh, But with that, with that said, uh, don't forget to check out the Tattered Beans. I got all these links in the description below. Check out Tattered Beans. Check out the Bearded Idiots. Check out Brian Stessel from the Herfcast podcast. He's a cool dude. Knows his shit uh, about cigars. And uh, like always, folks, smoke a cigar, drink some whiskey, share it with your friends and family. Have a good day. Y'all take care.